Hey, what's up guys? John here, and this is going to be my day release titles guide covering the first four phases to get you your first kill. There is a fifth phase after you have reached 100% in rage, but this guide in particular is aimed at those just looking for their first kill. Keep in mind that I will be making a full in-depth guide in the very near future once we learn more about Telos that will cover the fifth phase and any unknown mechanics, so make sure that you have annotations on or check in the description if you're watching this video a week or so after release, as I will most likely have a link to my in-depth guide. Before we go right into the fight, any combat style should be fine, but it's yet to be determined what is the absolute best style. A few miscellaneous things that you will definitely want are Dreadnips since Telos can actually be stunned and bound, as well as Weapon Poison and a Shield. On phase 1 you will be introduced to three of the main special attacks he will use throughout the duration of the fight. The first special we'll cover is his jump attack. He will say hold still invader and then use a melee stun attack followed by jumping on you and dealing high typeless damage. You will want to make sure you have protect melee on when he uses this attack and to use freedom and run out of the way of this jump. The next special is where he binds you to where you're standing and cannot move until you deal a set amount of damage. You will take small typeless damage hits as well as lose adrenaline while caught in this bind. I recommend using a threshold if you have the adrenaline to get out of it as soon as possible. The last special is the charge attack. He'll lower his arm and swing his bladed arm at you, dealing moderate typeless damage. You can't actually run out of the way, your only options to avoid it are to either surge away right at the perfect timing of when he swings, or use resonance and it will effectively cancel out the attack, but it won't heal you. I recommend using resonance. The other aspect of the fight that you will notice is that there are different colored beams on different phases with different effects. The yellow beams on phase 1 will deplete your prayer points, but rapidly increase your adrenaline. The black beams on phase 2 will decrease both your damage dealt and damage received. The last beam is red and appears on phase 3, and has the effect of making you deal more damage but also receiving more damage. Something worth noting is that you should not let these beams be coming into contact with Telos, even if the effect is not desirable to you. This is because Telos has an adrenaline bar of sorts that is filled by the beams touching him, and once it is full he will use a devastating attack where he says, so much power, and will hit you upwards of 5k damage depending on enrage levels. All you want to do is stand in between him and the beam. Jumping right into the fight, jump down the route to begin phase 1. Your objective here is to just DPS Telos down into the next phase, which will transition once you have depleted him down to 300k life points if you have no starting enrage. The things to watch out for are the three main specials we covered earlier, and the adrenaline boosting beams. As for the strategies to this phase, I usually just use my basics and thresholds until the beam appears. Once the beam is present, I stand within it, use death swiftness, and fire off my DPS rotation. This seems to be a decent way to get the phase done efficiently, but remember that this is just a day of release tactic and definitely could be trumped by a better method discovered later. For the second phase, you'll want to follow the same principle as the previous phase. Just DPS him down to 200k life points and make sure to interrupt the beam reaching Telos. Moving on to phase 3, it seems this is where people run into trouble, but it's actually one of the easiest and quickest phases once you understand how to do it. The mechanics behind this phase are a balance of sorts, and if his bar goes too far to the left or the right, Telos will start exploding dealing significant typeless damage that can drop you quick if you're unaware. The way to deal with this phase without ever really having to worry about this is actually very simple. You will want to stand inside the red beam as soon as it appears, make sure that you have full HP and use Onslaught on Telos. This can carry you through the vast majority of the phase. For the rest of the phase, just DPS Telos down, and tag the gold colored minions if you're worried that you can't deal the damage necessary before the explosion. For phase 4, this is again quite a simple phase that appears to be much more difficult than it actually is. You will notice around the room that there are three fonts. These are necessary to your survival. To start off, you'll want to DPS Telos down, and stand near the green font on the western side of the room where you drop down. Telos will become invulnerable and charge up an insta-kill attack. To survive this, you need to stand on the font. He will spawn three golems at this time as well, which you should focus on killing while he does his charge. After a bit of time, Telos will launch an anima bomb at you, and provided you are on the correct font, you will survive the attack. If you happen to be outside of the shielded area, you will be insta-killed. The rest of the phase is fairly straightforward. You just go in a clockwise pattern around the room, repeating the process for the remaining two fonts, and then killing Telos after the final one. One thing I want to mention is that it seems he will inevitably end up using his power attack during this phase. If you see him say the words, you have a moment where you can use debilitate on him which works against this massive typeless hit. All things considered, it's best to just stay high life points on this phase. Once you kill Talos on this phase, you will be able to claim your loot or continue. Remember that if you choose to continue for another kill with your killstreak active, a death will result in forfeiting all loot. That should cover everything needed to get your first Talos kill guys. Remember that I will be covering Phase 5 and be going much more in depth in terms of editing and production quality in my proper guide once we learn all unknown mechanics. With that being said, I hope this guide helped you guys out, and if it did, please consider dropping a like as it really helps my channel, as well as subscribing. Take care guys, see you all soon.